Well, hello, everyone. Season's greetings. It's a glorious day out, and I'm in my kitchen. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you. See? See how pretty it is out there? It's past, way past peak season. I live in Vermont, and uh, way past peak season. But anyways, today we're going to make whipped cream frosting. Now that's what my family calls it, but everybody else in the world may call it buttercream frosting. Yes, we call it whipped cream. That's what I was brought up on, whipped cream frosting. Uh, but it's my recipe, not my family's recipe. So, you know, do what you will. But I hope you enjoy this because it's really good and tasty. And uh, if you're looking to cut calories, this is not the recipe for you. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. What I have here is two sticks of butter. Now, I put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to loosen them up and to give a little liquid. Not to completely melt them down, but just to give a little liquid. And I'm going to add that to my standing mixer right here. And uh, the next thing is one stick of Crisco. One stick. Now, if you are wondering, you know, stick, um, if you have the container, which is more common, uh, that would be one cup of Crisco. Some people blend Crisco and butter, some people just do butter, but I mix uh, two sticks of butter and one stick of Crisco, which is one cup. Into the bowl it goes. And the nice thing about the sticks of Crisco versus the container, see these little things? They come with a lid. So if you don't use the whole thing, see, isn't that great? It's such a good idea. To that, I'm going to add two cups, two cups of powdered sugar. See, I always use my finger to level it off. Yes, you need to level off your You always need to level off your powders. You don't want to go under and you don't want to go over. Next, I'm going to add one cup of milk and try to have it uh, lukewarm. This seems a little bit on the cool side, so I'm going to put it into the microwave. I'll put it in the microwave for 10 seconds just to give it a little bit more warmth to it because you do want lukewarm. So while that's going, I'll do two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And the microwave went off. So this is a one cup, and uh, I'm using one cup of milk, lukewarm. I'm going to add a whisk attachment to my standing mixer, and I'm going to start blending this together. You need to do low speed, people. Powdered sugar, you don't want to get it all over the place. And then you're going to start adding your milk and just let it take its time. Pour it in slowly. And once the powder has dissolved into the liquid, then you can increase the speed. Now with buttercream or with our whipped cream, um, 
Yes, you're gonna wanna do it slow, but it's gonna run for approximately five to 10 minutes because you want it whipped. See how it's making a mess? If, it's, if you feel like it's making a mess, just put a towel over it, but don't try to get it into the, thing, into the bowl here because you don't want that in there, no. And you can slowly increase the speed like so. And we're gonna do this for approximately five to 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this frosting to spread over a uh, layer cake, a chocolate layer cake. And um, I'll show you pictures on my Facebook page. But what I really need you to do is to go to my YouTube channel, The Grizzly Mountain Chef. Yes, I'm The Grizzly Mountain Chef. <laughs> like my videos, share my videos, and subscribe to The Grizzly Mountain Chef. I need all the subscriptions and likes as possible. That helps me and it helps you folks, yes. So yeah, um, Grizzly Mountain Chef YouTube channel, please. Okay, <laughs> I digress. So yes, can you hear the, the speed is increasing and uh, it's blending. And uh, I'll show you uh, pictures on my Facebook page of the end result. Uh, but yeah, hope you liked my video. The holidays are coming, Thanksgiving. Christmas is soon in a month. So yeah, yeah. Well, two months. <laughs> Thanksgiving is in a month, I'm sorry. So yeah, um, I'm going to be out of town for a couple weeks. Yes, I have a huge wedding that I'm going to. You might see me post something down there about the spread gonna be fancy <laughs> okay folks hugs and kisses to all my bear cubs and earthlings i'll talk talk i'll talk to you all later bye